Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day in Nebraska and a very, very special one. Today is FFA Drive Your Tractor to School Day, and I'm going to go with Gage to school. Gage is going to be driving the Combine to school, and his friend is going to be taking the 8335. There is something so perfectly small town about drive your tractor to school day that I just absolutely love. Grant is getting the full tour of these tractors here. Hi, I'm Caleb. Uh, it's a 2013 New Holland T9.450. Uh, Dyno tunes around 600 horse. It's got a fresh built motor, so it's got zero hours. I think the rest of the tractor has like 2,300 hours on it. And it's our biggest one in the fleet. We have quite the showing of tractors. Small green ones. We got a little case with a loader on it. Whoa, I love the tracks and I like that step shape there. That is super cool. We've got an 8320 with a pusher on the front. Oh, and look at this. This is what I hope our 4020 to look like. All cleaned up. Gage would really like that chrome stack. Gage would love that chrome stack. Okay. Oh man, we got another John Deere on tracks here. Loader. We're missing an attachment up front here. We need a bucket or something. New Holland. 8520. Old style hood there. 8335R one of my favorite tractors right there and i love the duels a third tractor with tracks older version wow okay 8420 loving the representation we have a 4620 here check this out with the cab still on it and finally the cutest little what is this a massey ferguson with a little blade on the back what a lineup i love seeing the hometown pride and it's so fun to see kids get involved with something like this ffa week i believe you were a success Chief is a family-owned, Nebraska-based company comprised of seven diverse brands. Chief. Trusted. Tested. True. While Gage is at school, Grant and I wanted to take you guys around and show you a couple different methods of corn storage. It's a very important part of our operation. We grow this cool commodity, corn, but it has to go somewhere once we harvest it. So I wanted to show you a couple different things that you can do with it. Come along with us. This is what happens when kids grow up playing in sandboxes with their dirt toys. This is just the adult version of that on a super large scale. How fun. 10 yard bucket, check out these hydraulic cylinders. Kind of reminds you of a dumpster looking thing with the bottom just opens up, corn flows out. What a cool job. Look at this corn. During harvest, when we were dumping corn at the elevator and it was in a big ground pile, people were really concerned about the quality, but it's kind of cold and smells great. Just flows nice, it's dry. Cover it up with this nice thick tarp. Looks pretty good to me. 
Here's the inside of it. Check that out. It's attached to a couple big pins. You guys know excavators are like Grant's favorite thing in the entire world. Watching something like this work is a dream come true. And here comes another truck ready to be loaded. It's just afternoon. They've already shipped off 30 trucks. Best day. They sent off over 100 trucks with this thing. As big as this excavator is, uh, he was saying that it's actually could use a bigger one with that bucket full and all the way extended it is heavy so it would actually do better with a heavier excavator over here so it doesn't tip over so like i said this fall when we were dumping corn this is kind of similar to what they were putting up so there's this big thick concrete wall bunker and then this is the tarp they put over it's real thick stuff you can imagine someone lining a pool or a pond with this this should look familiar. We've actually seen this loader or one very similar to this in action before. This is another tool that they can use to load trucks. And this is actually a 16 yard bucket here, which I cannot even describe how large this thing is in person. I mean, it is just monstrous. Grant, stand in that. Another method of storing grain is in these enormous concrete bins. As you can see, there's that tubing on the outside so you can keep air moving through them. They're located very conveniently by a railroad track so that you can very easily unload the grain right into a train and send it off to wherever it needs to go. In between the bins, that thing you're seeing Grant walk up to, that's the dryer. So you can have trucks pull up here, dump into that pit. They can go into the dryer and then into the bin. These things are massive, so tall. Another method of corn storage, this was very popular many years ago, is quite literally just in a building. So you can see all that electrical stuff running all of those fans, again, to keep air moving through it. But you just dump the grain in the top and it sits in the building until you are ready to move it. So you saw the building from the outside. Now we are in the building because they are actually storing beans in here. So you can dump in that pit, it goes up the elevator and then the drag takes it all the way over here and dumps it in a big pile. But instead of being covered by a tarp, it's covered by a building. And then they also, they didn't use this whole building. They only have it about half full. And so they were keeping some tractors in here and they actually use this International 986. They put an auger on the back of it. They auger the grain out that way or they'll bring a loader in here and load the trucks on the street over here. So it's really cool to see not only an old grain storage facility still being used very actively to this day, but you also get to see the old equipment that was probably kind of around when this building was built still being in use right alongside it, which I think is pretty cool. Tractor's in pretty good shape, actually. It's a big pile of beans. This is a big pile of beans. Wow. You can see there's a big auger up there that they load it from the top, from across the street. Keeps the beans nice and dry. I suppose you could walk along that little part up on the ceiling, huh? Yeah, there's a catwalk up there. But, yeah, so... We've been working on our 4020 quite a bit. This is probably the same era as our 4020, but this is a diesel 756. This maybe, also maybe looks we gotta like add a red in. tractor to our fleet. Maybe, it might be about time. What would you guys think of that, huh? Red tractor on Laura Farms? What do you guys know about these tractors? Anything good, bad about them? Looks like the tires are in good shape on this one. What, this year, one. Do you what year do you think these are? Another method of grain storage is in bags. So during harvest, when the corn or soybeans comes out of the field, it's harvested with the combine, goes into a grain cart, then the grain cart dumps it into kind of a funnel type system, and it walks along with a tractor and it fills up this plastic bag full of your grain. Then when you're ready to haul it to town or wherever you're taking it, you come out here, you open the bag, and you have kind of an auger system hook up to a tractor that unloads it into a semi-truck trailer, which is pretty cool. So this material is really thick, keeps the animals and the weather out. 
and I believe there's soybeans in this bag and it just sits on the ground until you're ready to haul it in. It's a little bit slower of a process than other methods, but it's fairly cheap. As long as you have the equipment to get the grain into the bag, uh, this is a pretty cheap way of storing your grain. We saw a lot of this when we were down in Argentina. This is a way to store your grain if you do not have a grain facility on your farm. So it's really simple. You don't have to have a super high horsepower tractor, but you just put it in neutral and then the attachment that you have on the back has hydraulic rollers. It's rolling that bag up as it's taking the grain out and just the act of it rolling the bag up those hydraulics just pulls the tractor back so you just move the truck forward when need be but uh, this is really cool during harvest it also really speeds up your operation because you're not waiting for a truck to leave the field and come back you're not waiting in line at an elevator you're not waiting on a grain leg at your grain system you just pop the corn or soybeans right into the bag and keep on harvesting I've never done anything with grain bags. This is our neighbor's operation. This is actually my first time seeing a grain bag being emptied. I see them loaded all the time during harvest. So uh, thank you, Kevin, for letting us video your operation. This is super cool. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, this video would not have been possible without my neighbor, Kevin, the guys down at the Harvard Aurora Co-op, Derek, Reed. Thank you so much for letting me film, for following me around, for teaching me things. And of course, couldn't forget the boss man himself, Chris at Aurora Co-op. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you for everything that you do. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.